Listen closely. What sounds like a distant bee is a warning call of one of North America's most captivating pit vipers, the Crotalus ruger, the red diamond rattlesnake. First described by Edward Drinker Cope in 1892, the Crotalus ruber belongs to the family Vipiridae, subfamily Crotalinae, and is part of the Neogene desert adapted clade. There are three subspecies are recognized on the mainland, the Leucosensis in southern Baja, the x Sul on Cedros Island, though genetic studies suggest only shallow divergence among them. Adults average 100 to 120 centimeters in length, with record specimens surpassing 160 centimeters in total length. The scalation includes 29 dorsal scale rows at mid-body and 185 to 206 ventral scales. Notably, the first pair of the lower labials form divided chin shields unique to the species. True to its name, the Crotalus ruber displays brick red diamonds along with a dark brown surrounding color and a pale background. Coastal snakes often exhibit richer reds and larger body sizes compared to their more desert dwelling species and cousins. The red diamond rattlesnake ranges from southwestern California, spanning San Diego, Riverside, Orange, and Imperial counties, to the Baja California Peninsula and nearby Gulf Islands. It thrives in chaparral, coastal sage scrub, pine oak woodlands, and tropical deciduous forests below 1 to 500 meters in elevation. Primarily nocturnal during summer heat, the Crotalus ruber shifts to diurnal activity in cooler months, employing shade retreats by day and ambush sites under rocks. Its loreal pits grant infrared detection of endothermic prey, guiding strikes even in total darkness. Field studies reveal that it has a broad diet, normally squirrels and rabbits, but they have also been known to eat lizards and other snakes as well. Proteolytic venom enzymes begin extracellular digestion, so that way the prey can be swallowed hours later. Mating occurs February to April, often featuring male combat dances. Females are oviviparous, birthing 3 to 20 neonates in August, each roughly 30 to 34 centimeters long. Neonates remain near natal dens for up to two weeks before dispersing into the surrounding habitat. The Crotalus ruber exhibits one of the mildest venoms compared to some of our other North American Crotalus species. Its venom is rich in hemorrhagic metalloproteinases like rubellicin, causing local necrosis, hemorrhaging, and coagulopathy. Antivenom is definitely critical for significant bites. Though classified as least concerned by the IUCN, Local populations face habitat loss, road mortality, and persecution. California law protects the Crotalus ruber, and education programs aim to reduce unnecessary killings and secure chaparral corridors. Legend says that the Crotalus ruber bleeds red diamonds when wounded, but that's pure folklore. Its true beauty lies in the science behind its crimson scales. Captive hybrids with the Crotalus atrox demonstrate fertile crosses, highlighting the genomic compatibility within the Crotalus species. From taxonomy and physiology to behavior and conservation, the Crotalus ruber embodies the red jewel of North America's deserts, a testament to evolution's artistry and resilience. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most fascinating reptiles. See you guys on the next episode.